Hi guys! Ooh. What's up guys? Put me the Siren Sims and we're back at it again with another video. We're back with episode 2 of Store World Legacy, Generation 1, aka Cottage Core. Okay, we're back with Betty. We have a few objectives today. Um, we met a person or two, saw a fight. It was really exciting. But today we're gonna focus more on the objectives because this is a big objective based game. Um, so we're gonna be focusing on our gardening skill because that's what's most important right now so we're gonna be focusing on that and our little itty bitty farm I had to move stuff around and you know get another um, chicken coop just so we can generate some more funds I kind of want her to move out of here like as soon as humanly possible because you know we just need her to get into a bigger place because I had to use move objects on to place the cows so you know this is not big enough um, we could always just expand like you know put more levels to the house but like interesting that she's going for the brand new coop Ooh, she picked up four eggs so with this particular coop you can get stuff like spoiled eggs and stuff like that so girl where are you going where are you going yeah we definitely need to get out of here because apparently it's not even placed properly because apparently where i placed the the um the egg places is not even good enough at this point because do you do you see all of this lag? This wasn't here before. Hmm. It is what it is. Yeah, the cow is not out, so that's why I can't feed it right now. But yeah, right now I'm just having the garden be watered by the um, sprinklers that I set up there. She's gorgeous. But yeah, that's what we have to do today. We have to do gardening and taking care of our farm. Pay a few bills. Yes, good. How are you guys doing today? You know, what's the feeling? What's the vibe? <laughs> Please answer that down below. I'm going to pause this and then we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So. Of course, a creepy ice cream truck just appears here because it'll appear wherever your sims live. She was about to do something very interesting, but then she decided not to. It's like, okay, girl, whatever. There was a bush that I got. I'm pretty sure it's a store item. So there was a bush that I got, and that bush is for outside. So you know how The Sims 4 has an outside bush? The Sims 3 has one too. It's not CC, guys. Look, she's using the bush. She's using the bush. <laughs> this is what I'm telling y'all. I'm going to make a video about how to do cottage living in The Sims 3. Why does it have the same noises? As this? I'll tell you. They, they put a lot into The Sims 3, but one side effect of that is that they just decided to like redo a lot of animations which has stayed consistent um all right they've been watered for a minute so what i'm gonna do i'm going to turn it off see if i can turn this one off too um yeah but yeah guys i'll be right back she's going through a lot right now and she needs to do stuff like take a nice decent bath because she just ate but you know life is not easy I'll be right back there's this cute thing here that says more cowbell the world it needs more cowbell that's coming up because the cow is like making noises I would show you guys the cute bathtub. I'll do it now here for a second, but then I have to go back to where it was stationed because YouTube is doing the most and I really can't. What What's YouTube doing? When I was doing Rose's story, YouTube age-restricted my video. 
because in the beginning of the video Rose was taking a bath. Now you know that means you can't really see anything but pixels and her head. But after I disputed it, they took it off, but I didn't even wait for them to dispute it. I just removed the video and reshot it and put it back because I just couldn't bother. <laughs> so now I'm not really going to be as interested to show baths. Probably more than likely showers. Oh, I forgot. She is eco-friendly, which means she's not going to like taking a bath as aesthetic as this is right now. Darn it. We're about to start gardening today, so let's just get into the gardening. I'm really excited for this because it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge based thing, which is way more what I'm into. I'm, I'm getting really sick and tired of the lag, so I'm going to have to fix that. But for now, I'm really I'm loving this game. I have a bunch of mods in that will make things a little bit more interesting. What? They're talking about critters. What critters are around here? She looks so pretty. Yeah, I have seasons in, so she's just gonna randomly start feeling ill even though nothing happened. I know there must be a mod to like, you know, fix that, but at this point, it's annoying. Like, people have mods to get rid of stuff that don't even matter, like the mascot from university and turning off social interactions and, you know, like just little things that you don't even really think about, but people who play the game all the time might find annoying. People literally have mods to get rid of stuff like that, but they don't have mods for like regulating the sickness so it at Me least makes die. sense. I'm just asking Nothing a question. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I would have made enough stuff that you guys would have seen a music video type of intro. Um, similar to Lilac in Bloom, I like to have music videos for that one. Um, hopefully I was able to make this one a little bit more personal um, where you know showing what she does day to day showing what would be happening episode to episode you know I feel like that would be super great to post and all of that so oh also do you guys like my partitions like you know having six different partitions where we will be planting um, I got the idea from somebody called Kita Sims. She's a really good simmer and she was playing this so I got the idea from her. Um, she partitioned her stuff that way and I thought that's cute, I can do that. She only had like two, um, I have like six. But um, yeah, that's what I was more interested in. Anyways, I'll be right back, you guys don't want to see this forever. All right, so we're having her practice sewing right now. She just spent the whole day gardening, weeding, tending the, tending to the land, as you guys saw. Now, by sometime today, we should start making friends. So I'm just going to have her go around tomorrow and look for somebody to be friends with. We just had to make sure we tended the garden sometime, you know? Um, but right now she's just sewing and looking pretty. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what the game plan is. We need to make friends, so we go and find friends. It is what it's going to be. And then we're going to look at some more of the egg situation here. I don't think I removed the eggs yet. Yeah. So we're going to put the eggs. Why do I have 54 eggs? The way these fridges are stocked is strange, but we'll let it... Hello? The way these fridges are stocked are weird, but we'll let it rock. Anyways. Um, yeah, one moment, guys. Alright, so we're gonna go interact with the cow. Which should be super duper exciting. I've always had these sets, but I've never actually used them. Oh, that is so cute. I'm so creepy. Let us play tic tac hoof with this cow so this is a game that you can play with the cow it's crazy so it's just tic-tac-toe but the cow can play it with oh 
No, there's a chicken in the back. Look, I'm loving this game, bro. Here she goes, going around the back to... Yeah, he went back inside. After I fed him, he said, nah. Oh, do you have to reset yourself? Oh, there it is. We're playing Tic Tac Ho. I don't even know how this game works. I won again. <laughs> so when you win, you say it's more than your average cow. She's teasing because she's sick. But yeah, I won. So with the hens, you can like harvest eggs, feed the chickens. And then you can ask them dumb questions because you love the outdoors. It's a love the outdoors thing. So, you know how this game is. I can literally talk to the chickens. <laughs> what is wrong with this game, bro? So, I can literally just talk to chickens. Which is... What is happening? Oh my god. No. No. No! No! I'm gonna stop this game right here. Stop. No, 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 no. Feed the chickens. Feed the chicken won't XR. Oh! And here we go with these gosh darn aliens. Yeah, you just sit there and watch like you're a person with the palm colored complexion. That wasn't very noir of you. This wasn't very black of you, ma'am. Oh my god. Guys, I'll be back when she comes back from her excursion with the pollination technicians of The Sims 3. Okay, so we just got back from our excursion. Apparently, we were there for so long that my Enros settings cleaned up the town. I just... Uh-oh, looks like Betty was abducted by an alien. Hopefully, they were friendly. I think she needs to cheer up a little. Ask which came first. Then you can harvest the eggs. She's so cute. I know you're tired, but I want you to milk the cow. I just want you to milk the cow, okay? How are you gonna get soy milk? Oh, cause you fed them veggies? Okay, so I got four eggs from that litter. Oh, I'm milking a cow. I'm milking a cow. Okay. Alright, she wants to prepare waffles. Let's just make her go do that. I don't know. Because she's a girl, when you get picked up by the aliens, it doesn't really matter. All that happens is that now you have an alien in your relationships panel. Um, or she should. Where the heck did the alien go? I saw the alien. I just didn't really have time to stop them. Um, yeah, she can use an egg. But yeah, so usually if it's a girl, pro tip, you don't really have to worry about, you know, the aliens picking them up. They're not going to get pregnant. Oof. Right now she's at neutral with Don. He's not a doctor in this world, but it's okay. Reason why I say it's okay is because, you know, he doesn't really have to be a doctor in this world. Um, you know, he was sent here from another planet, so who cares about that? 
Anyways, I'm gonna go take a nap and then we'll go on the excursion to find a friend. I'll see you guys. Guys, so I'm at the Lynn household and this girl just has on a random piece of custom content right now. And I don't know, the outfit is giving. I know it's a little weird, like we should change the pants, but you know, the head wrap with the matching um, crops, crop top, it's cute, it's giving. Now, I know that there may be somebody who lives here that is very plant-oriented. I don't want to be boring like that and find them. Let's have an opposite to track friend. Ooh, I don't like trash, but you know, I like gardening. They don't want to take care of the environment. It's trash. Do you think? Roxy and Betty? I, guys, I didn't know her name, I swear. But Roxy and Betty? Great. Perfection. I already want them to be besties. Roxy and Betty? Let's start a And there's a guitar right there. Let's start a band. Let's start a band. Oh, you know what? Let me make them talk organically. Well, she's asking me what my job is. Oh, damn. 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 Girl, if you don't make this friendship... Yeah, she's saying that she doesn't like what just happened. Why are we automatically tired? Oh. I'll be right back, guys. This is getting a little monotonous. Ask her a sign. It is what it is. I don't care if she's a hopeless romantic. We're asking signs to see if they're compatible as friends. That swing design is crazy. The little hearts on the side. Okay, what comes up? What's her sign? She's a Taurus, so we're not compatible. Make gourmet food. Oh, you touched it. <laughs> oh my god, you can touch a sim and then say make gourmet food. Crazy. What's up? Deeper conversations. What's up? Why, why are they not talking? Axe to cook. That is wild. I'm sorry. That That's just a wild interaction to have. What is she asking? She's telling her a love story? Okay, cute. They're getting along. Cute, 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 cute. The gnomes, they're a lot. This is stuff. <laughs> okay, I did laugh a little bit, but only because of how ridiculous this is. That's the only reason I laughed. But I like Roxy. This girl went to brush her teeth in these people's bathroom and then broke it. Like, how, how do you break it, girl? And not because she broke it, of course, one of the girls, Shirley, who's actually a really cute pre-made. I'll show you guys her in a second. She's reading over there. She's like, um, you're behaving inappropriately. If you continue, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And it's like, yeah, of course, because you literally just broke their sink. Oh, my God. Fix it faster. Honestly, we might just end it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make over Roxy if I can find her. I'm going to make over Roxy if I can find her. And that will be like the end of it. Hold on. Okay, I repaired the sink. Because I'm that girl. Mop up the puddle, ma'am. I'm this close to kicking you out myself. She just, I've never seen that happen before. Or you can go to somebody else's house and break their stuff.
But at least now she got the handiness skill, which, you know, makes sense. Everywhere is what, so she has to clean it up. I think Roxy like left. Like Roxy like dipped out and left because I don't see her anymore. She got to be back at some time though. But I can't stay here forever. They finna kick me out. Very interesting layout for the house though, however, I will say. This is Shirley. Let me show you guys Shirley really quickly. Tell me this isn't like a cute pre-made right here. Look at her. I didn't know if you'd be having the, the hotties and the fatties. Of course, a lot of this has to do with, you know, how you make Sims and the default replacements that you put in. I'm going to make a video showing you guys how to have cute townies in the sims or how to slightly update your townies just to make them look more presentable when you go into play um so you know what i think shirley and roxy are sisters so i might be able to just give her a bit of an updo change but you know what nah i think we're done with this one this one was more of a chill let's find a friend let's garden episode pretty chill i like it um, it looks like we got a lot of money removed because we paid taxes, so we're going to have to make that back up. We are working for ourselves as a gardener. Our next promotion will be once we make $30 in um, gardening sales. So we're going to do that as well, and we're going to go and we're going to live our lives, all right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see, and stay tuned for cast cartoons because I got a lot coming in that regards as usual. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye, my sires. Susu.